It has now been confirmed that the six governors of the South-South region will meet in Port Harcourt, River State, on Monday, under the umbrella of the Forum of South-South Governors, to discuss issues around the mining of gold in Zamfara State. A source close to one of the governors told this day last night that all arrangements for the meeting had been concluded and that Governor Nizamwike is excited hosting the crucial meeting. The governors are looking towards taking a common decision on the Zamfara gold issue on Monday. This decision will be forwarded to President Buhari. South-South states also want artisanal mining of oil, added the source. Delta State Governor, Dr. Ifiani Akoa, had last Wednesday expressed worry at federal government's apparent tacit endorsement of the decision of Zamfara State to assume exclusive right to solid minerals in the state, particularly the gold deposits. ACOA then hinted that the South-South governors were planning a meeting over the issue and that they were unanimous on the need to address the constitutionality of the alleged Zamfara government's action. In a veiled reference to the federal government's support for artisanal mining of gold, particularly with President Muhammadu Buhari's inauguration of the Presidential Artisanal Gold Mining Development Initiative, ACOA vowed that the South-South states would resist such a discriminatory disposition that runs foul of the constitutional provision on ownership of mining rights in Nigeria. ACOA, who is the chairman of the forum, assured that the governors were united in their support for unattended issues of restructuring and devolution of more powers, as well as resources down to the local government level. ACOA said, the South-South governors have been in the forefront for the devolution of power to states and local governments. Restructuring, resource control and security of the country, especially in the Niger Delta will be a major topic of discussion at the presidential parley coming up in Port Harcourt. There are acts of the National Assembly that dealt specifically and unequivocally with oil production and solid minerals. We cannot apply laws in such a manner that it becomes discriminatory because you cannot mine solid minerals somewhere in Zamfara and not allow Niger Delta to manage their oil. The Presidential Artisanal Gold Mining Development Initiative PAGMI, is a comprehensive artisanal and small-scale gold mining development program, launched in 2019 to foster the formalization and integration of artisanal gold mining activities into Nigeria's legal, economic, and institutional framework. Federal government, in collaboration with the Kebi state government, inaugurated the Presidential Artisanal Gold Mining and Biometric Data Capture and Enrollment Exercise in Yauri Local Government Area of Kebi in February. The program, which is a federal government initiative to be operated by PAGMI, in partnership with the Kebi state government, will formalize the artisanal mining groups for the much-needed support and capacity building aimed at upscaling their processes, creating more jobs and enhancing incomes. Minister of Mines and Steel Development, Alamile Kanadegbite said the steps taken would lead to improved practices, access to finance and equipment, create jobs and sanitize the artisanal miners' operations. The minister added, Undoubtedly, it will grow the economy of the state through diversification into solid minerals development. Executive Secretary of the Solid Minerals Development Fund SMDF, Haji Fatima Umaru Shinkafai explained that Kebi and Osin were selected to kick-start the pilot project. She said the program was part of President Buhari's economic diversification agenda through the Anchor Borrowers Program. She said, Federal government wants to create more jobs in rural areas of Nigeria in line with his mission to create million jobs. Fatima further said the National Identity Management Commission NIMSI, would enroll the first batch of artisanal gold miners under the pilot scheme, 